Well, hello everyone, and here I'm with another Throwback Thursday review, and the rotation leads us to a Star Wars review, and today we are reviewing the B-Wing at Rebel Control Center from 2000. So, on the front of the booklet, see the large Lego logo, set number 7180, has the original trilogy version of the Star Wars logo, of course, and then it in action above Endor, and the whole name of the set there. And what's in, also with most of these older sets is this little comic strip to it. And as you see, and also numbers in each panel ties with the alternate bill. Like this one, almost like a different form of control center and a not so substantial ship. And then again, well, with a couple other alternate buildings, like a few walkers, and then this, and look at this. This is the second one, and it's very few steps on how to build that. So, like, they went all out with these alternate buildings. And then on the back is, you see it with pieces broken off, and also the alternate builds, of course. So, first of which is the B-Wing pilot. Well, torso print, kind of similar to the early A-Wing pilots and X-Wing pilots, of course. But, we do have that smiley face, which they used in a lot of earlier town sets. And no back torso print, since it's an older figure. And also the helmet print, of which, which I think might be exclusive to this. It, Kind of similar to the one that came in the A-Wing set at the time. And yeah, that's that. And next to which is a Rebel Technician. Of which, same torso print and cap piece as the one in the A-Wing set, but different face print. Which I think could, and also I think it can work as with alternate expressions of giant thunder and all. And as you can kind of tell, like with the hair print and all. And no back torso print or alternate face because it's an older figure and yeah. And not at all these leg prints, of course. Oh, whoops. And lastly is uh, some astromech droid. I can't remember the name for it, but was also included in the 99 X-Wing TIE Interceptor set. That's a print so much, kind of similar to the early R2-D2, of course. No back torso print, of course, but besides that, done quite nicely. At least all right for the time. And yeah. then, first of all, for the builds. So first for the builds is this little, uh, little uh, dolly kind of one. So it's kind of similar to what we got in the 99 X-Wing set. Like this part of it that's on two ratcheted joints and has a little saw on it and something to it with the oldster trans orange color. And then lower down. And, and also like in that set has those like rounded floater pieces and it does move around well and also linked together like that one and of course do have enough space to like fit your rebel technician onto a course and also like that one can like take out this tool rack and also does have that printed tile piece like we've seen in some of the earlier sets and some good amount of blue in this on this build, of course. And on for the next segment of which, which is Rebel Control Center, which 
as is in the, as the front gate part of which has those tiles that are tile pieces with some printed buttons that were used a lot at the time. And also this odd build, I'm not sure what for, but if you notice the little cylinders to the sides, you can like pull on them and opens the doors. Also kind of like the 09 Endor set. And also can like swivel these things out in different opposite directions, of course. Probably like that, or like this, or just simply like that. So, and like upper area, which it was quite vacant with another couple of those uh, tiles, but just with the white chair facing it, kind of odd, but you know. But also, do you get this like window piece, which has the Death Star or or Death Star Two actually over Endor, and then this other area, which is just an archway with a couple jagged slopes, and of course this little rack, which with the binocular thing, and also the uh, uh, also a walkie-talkie, of course. And that is it with that. And now to the main part of it, the B-Wing itself. So it's in its resting position. And quite good, quite all right then. But as you see, it have a lot of these like things and also the like hinge rods acting as blasters, of course. And but also the also use of the like the orange studs that are the older style trans orange. And that's the top part to which has those things acting as greepily and also orange uh, round tiles, of course, and some and also jackets look holding on to the uh, ratchet joints, and also do have some blue kind of sticking out. The, although they could have used some light gray at the time, but I guess they weren't very thoughtful of hiding pieces. Or hiding things, although you can modify that if you want. But the top area, another one, a couple of those pieces that were seen a lot in the earlier sets, as well as those like uh, jet engine things. So, course. so a lot of use of the jagged slopes around but from the back part of which do have the engines also in that old orange color. But with this kind, you can swivel out and a lot of space to fit some things into, which I which I don't think was present on the other versions of the B wing. But as for the cockpit area, you can open up just like the two thousand A wing, and you can and enough space to fit your pilot into it and. Also, green Technic brick, which also kind of sticks out like a sore thumb. But also, should have been gray, but whatever. And, and now, when you can like fold the wings down, when you get it into flight mode. And as for in flight mode, of which, as just you good pointed out, it's kind of frail well, and kind of weak of it. Like, they should have added some more pieces to it, make it a bit more. Thick and stable, of course. And of course, the cockpit can uh, go in sync to it, just like the other B Wing sets. And so now, on to with a little comparison of this one. If being to the 2014 A Wing, and there were they also did do the 2006 one as well. And there was also in 2012 the UCS one. So as you can kind of see that the 2014 one does have some better detailing to it and a little more thick in the wings and also orange spot pieces rather than like that. and doesn't have any blue uh, art sticking around out around it. 
and also instead of the jagged slopes like this one, it has those fin pieces acting as ventilations. And also does have some things on it and it can swivel around and has little things on the front of it which this one doesn't. And of course does have the spring loaded launchers of course and better jack propulsion on this on the back. So I think they could have done made this one a little better well since the 2006 version. And so now on to the final verdict. Overall anyways overall I think this is which a pretty good set for 2000. Like you get the ship and also a small little place that kind of built. Well, that sort of it has a modulability factor to it, then yeah. Although the build, some of the build of it, kind of bit weak, but you know it's what to expect from these earlier sets. But at least they fixed it with the 2006 and that 14 versions. Because I hope they bring this around again, but f hopefully they'll do another B-wing set, but for Episode Nine, Resistance. So if you're watching this Lego, be sure to do so. It would be good. And if you still have this set from back in the day, well, I hope you have some good memories of it. And for those of you who haven't and still have access to this set, then I'd say go ahead and get it. Like eBay Bricklink, whatever. And that's about it with this video, and thanks for watching.